we're given a vector valued function and we're asked to find the first derivative. Let's go ahead and work it out. Let's start by rewriting our vector valued function in a way that allows us to differentiate it easily. Looks like the only thing that needs to be rewritten is this and perhaps we can write this in a more convenient way. So this is e to the 3t i plus it will help to think of this as cosine to the 4t quantity squared because we have to use the chain rule when we take this derivative. And plus, let's rewrite the square root as t cubed plus t to the 1 half power. And then we have vk. Now we're ready to take the derivative. So r prime of t. The derivative of e to the t is e to the t. So this is e to the 3t times the derivative of the inside function via the chain rule. So 3 plus, here we'll bring the 2 downstairs, so we get 2 cosine 4t to the first power times the derivative of the inside. The derivative of cosine is negative sine, so negative sine 4t, and then again times the derivative of the inside again, again the chain rule, beautiful stuff, and then j, plus, here we'll bring the 1 half down, so we get 1 half, t cubed plus t to the negative one half times the derivative of the inside via the chain rule. So 3t squared plus 1k. That was a lot of chain rules. Let's go ahead and rewrite the derivative. Let's put the 3 in the front so we get 3 e to the 3 ti. So that part is done. Here it looks like we have a negative 4 and a 2, so negative 8 cosine 4t sine 4t and we still have the j. And over here let's bring this downstairs, it'll become a positive 1 half and we can write it as a square root. So this is plus 3t squared plus 1 over 2 square root t cubed plus t, and we still have the k. And so that is the derivative of our vector-valued function r. I hope this video helps.